Now, this next point here around securing uh, and reducing the risk associated with migrating to the cloud, that's something that I can talk about. And, and in my role here as a cloud specialist, I consult with customers, make sure that we understand their cloud strategy and what they're trying to achieve by moving systems into the cloud. And we make sure that they fully understand how we can support them and how we can help secure those systems when they're moving to the cloud. I think it's important to stress that when we talk about verification, we're not talking just limited to on-premises systems. We're talking about holistically looking at how a piece of software is put together. So we can include the home infrastructure, the hosting environment, and we can take those into consideration, not just for the escrow deposit, if that might be things like root level access credentials to a cloud environment, a replicated tenancy, infrastructure as code, different components that are gonna build up the infrastructure, but also looking at how we can verify those and document that they are complete and correct and can be rebuilt into the, the working system. So I think that's an important thing to cover. A lot of customers, when we talk to them about cloud migration, they're concerned about these shorter term impacts of how a supply chain breakdown might be felt. If a supplier were no longer there, it's not just about the continued maintenance or the build of a system from the source code, but actually how do I keep the lights on? And I think that really highlights the importance of the verification here. If we can show that those materials held are complete and correct, uh, and we have a build guide from scratch, it's really gonna help in the event of a supplier no longer being there to not just have that knowledge to continue to use the system and make changes, but actually to get it back up and running from those deposit materials.